Donald Trump is not only one of my oldest, dearest friends, he's also an American success story. When he graduated college, he put his shoulder to the wheel, nose to the grindstone, borrowed six billion dollars from his father and started a career. <laughs> Well, that was legendary broadcaster Larry King back in 2011 poking fun at the man who is now president of the United States. That was the Comedy Central roast of Donald Trump six years ago. If there's anyone who knows Trump well, it is Larry, Clint, Larry King. The two have known each other for decades, and the one and only Larry King, host of Aura TV's Larry King Now in Politicking, joins us now. Before we begin, you are here celebrating a very special milestone, 60 Years yeah, I'm, in broadcasting. I'm, I'm Congratulations. Tracing all my steps, where I grew up, uh, high school I went to here, Lafayette. You, you're from Brooklyn originally, but you yeah. got your start in Florida, in, in Miami. Miami, in May 1st, 1957, 60 years ago, on a small little station in Miami Beach. So I'm going down to Miami, going to relive all those steps. Were you, were you spinning records? Were you a DJ? Yeah, Do you remember what the first song was? Uh, swinging down the lane, Les Elgato was scared to death. But I managed to get through it, and, uh, but I never thought I'd be on worldwide television. Whoever knew, satellites, what was that, crazy? It was yeah. the home. But so I pitch myself every day, Steve. I, I consider it a reward. I, this is a blessing. Uh, this cam, we don't own these cameras, you know. Other people own them. Yeah. And so it's a gift yeah. that we have them, and we, I have always appreciate it. I think this is a great career. Nothing like broadcasting. Well, you couldn't anticipate, and no one could, what television would become. I, I think also you couldn't anticipate what nobody else could, that Donald Trump, a guy you have known, you have had on your show, Forever. you did the, he's president of the United States, has that, is that one of those things you, you still find yourself saying, is this real? I've interviewed seven presidents, but this is the president I've known the best, because I know him for so many years. I've been to the Super Bowl with him, I've been to. I w when uh, he was married to his second wife, I went and watched her perform with him. I went with him to watch her on Broadway. I uh, shared many dinners with him. When I w had a little procedure in New York Hospital, he took my wife out to dinner. Always been close to him. We spoke a lot when he was running. Do you speak, do you speak to him now? Haven't heard from him since he was elected. Hmm. Uh, but I'm amazed, at, and I think he learned a lesson, Steve. I think the defeat on the health bill has taught him, one, that he now is a politician. Mm. He's not, diff he can't be, can't get out of that, he's a politician. He's not in the business for profit anymore. This is a country, it's a government. He's got to work with the Democrats. The, uh, the, the former Tea Party, those groups that now call themselves the Freedom, they're not going to work with them because they don't believe in any national health care program. So. Do, you, do you think he, I mean, do you have a sense, because a lot of people, he was out there saying, I mean, he was saying a lot of provocative things in the campaign, obviously. Some people say, look, he, he's, he's just going to do sort of the bidding of the Tea Party as president. Others say, no, he's got this very different idea of what a Republican is. Others say, he just has no ideology. Do you have a sense, is there a core politically to Donald Trump? You know, I know him all these years, I don't know. Uh, for a long time, I thought he was liberal. I know he donated to Hillary Clinton. He was for a single-payer health system. He didn't like George W. Bush. He opposed the Iraq war. He may have said once he favored it, but ever every since I knew him, he opposed it. So I thought he would, was a, either a moderate Republican or a centrist Democrat. Uh, and now he went to the right, and now I think they're going to have to bring him back. I think he sees that. He, he learned a lesson here, I think. You, uh, I, I think during the transition at Trump Tower, they had that camera from C-SPAN that was trained on the lobby and all these dignitaries and, and people were going up the elevator. At one point, I think you paid a visit to Trump Tower. What, what was that meeting like in the, in the transition? Well, where I, you want to know, Steve, the truth? I was going from my hotel to get my hair done, to get a little haircut. And there was a shortcut to cut through Trump Tower. So then I stopped there, and I figured if he was in, I'd say hello, but he wasn't in. And then they have this whole press Oh, so there. you didn't get to, oh, okay. <laughs> So they interview me, and, I, and they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to get a haircut. <laughs> now you can't even walk on that street. It was, no, right, it's completely, it's, it's, it's completely closed The world up. is different here in New York, huh? It, uh, it, it always is. L let me ask you this, too. You're, I mean, you're, your show right now, you're, you're affiliated, and this has gotten a lot of attention. I, I'm just curious, I want to ask you about it. Aura TV is, is where you work right now. 
now they have this contractual relationship with RT. I'll tell you what it, it is. It's yeah, what, I just, so a lot RT. of people bring that up and mention it. When I said you're on the show, people did. What, what do you say you to that? It's a licensing agreement. They, I don't work for RT. They're great people, and I, I get along with them. But I don't work for them. I work for Aura. Aura so, sells a licensing to RT. RT pays to carry the show. And I will tell you this. We do politicking there twice a week. I would say that nine out of ten times Putin is criticized, mm. sometimes harshly, just yesterday, and uh, they never edit it. Mm. They, so they have never, they may be a government controlled RT, but I would never subject it. If, if they edited me, I would not be on. What, what do you make of the, this whole question of Trump and, and Russia? There's investigations now. There's all sorts of theories out there. You know, it was his campaign coordinating with the Russians. Do you, does this one you look at and you say, I think there might be, you know, there's smoke I'm, here, I'm, there might I'm, be fire? I'm puzzled. Sure, there might be fire and there should be an independent investigation. I agree with what your previous guests were saying. This can't be left to the House and the Senate alone. There's got to be an independent investigation. Something's wrong. And I don't know why Donald has never criticized Putin. Mm. While many senators do. A lot do, of people man, notice that, yeah. I'm puzzled by that. So, yes, this deserves... In fact, the president should want it. All don't right. you think he'd want to clean the air? That's what a lot of people, I think, are asking. A lot yeah. of people are asking that exact question. But as question. for RT, they have never interfered with my show, ever. Okay. Larry King, congratulations. 60 years in broadcasting. Thank you for stopping by. Really I'll be back here next year for the 61st. Let's make it an annual <laughs> tradition. You are on. That is going to Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.